Well, there's legends about everything, and many people believe that when there's, as you can see, loads and loads of trees, but only one has blossomed, it must be the fairy folk. They must be doing it to feed the birds and the bees. It's a good story. Are witches misunderstood? Probably yes, because people do think of it as the, you know, the bad person that's going to eat the children and so on. And and if, if you describe a person that you don't like, often a woman will be described as an eyed witch and things like that. So yeah, I think they are misunderstood. I would play it down uh, mostly out of respect for people that I know who are um, take their faith very seriously. Like anything else, nobody wants it shoved in your face, you know, so I don't feel the need to announce it. I read the Bible, um, unlike most Christians, funnily enough, I've read it cover to cover, and I just don't believe that Jesus was the Son of God. Um, and I felt very sad about that. I felt sorry that, you know, I didn't feel that because people who seemed to be Christian were very happy, and then I just stopped worrying about it. Who's coming? Big dog! <laughs> Big dog! <laughs> now the triangle of this tells me this is edible. This is ground elder. It is very edible and very tasty. Um, it's almost like a celery. So get a wee bit of that going. I really am incredibly close to nature, want to make things. I'm what's known as a green or a kitchen witch. I'm going to nick some from my friend's yard and go mad that I've actually found wild garlic. So. Don't criticise your friends who don't uh, read their gardens. There shall ye assemble, ye who are fain to learn all sorcery, yet have not won its deepest secrets. To these will I teach things that are yet unknown, and ye shall be free from slavery, well, my background was that, you know, I was always interested in this. Our mum was a clairvoyant and tarot card reader. And uh, for some reason, she got away with it, you know. Um, <laughs> she was very well accepted in the community. Um, she helped all sorts of people. You know, people would have come to the house um, from all over Northern Ireland and, be and beyond. So we don't recruit it, you know at all it's not that it's the opposite in Absolutely fact. <laughs> the opposite. you yeah. know I think because of the way we grew up we um I know you did I mean I certainly did get a bit of um aggro at school you know for, for what my mom did it was always with people when people don't understand something they fear it and um you know so that would have been called satanic and nonsense like that I think people were ready for it, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's just things people are starting to ask questions beyond what they've been told, you know, in school or what they've learnt. And I think a lot of the girls that we talk to have had like an inner calling, mm -hmm. you know, a, a, an awakening, you know, and a lot of that's to do with, you know, nature based things. Mm -hmm. People are very interested in the wheel of the year and, you know, lighting incense, lighting candles, you know, and they've been drawn to a certain way of life and that, in essentially what it is, it's a, a way of life. Somebody said to me, a couple of my friends have said things like, I talk about you and I say, my witchy friend. And the girl at work said, you're a witch. I said, yeah, I suppose I am. And no, there was no stigma. In, among intelligent people, there's no stigma. Here in Ireland, our pre-Christian history was very spiritual. You know, we had the Celts, the Druids, etc., Newgrange, all of that. And it was a very nature-orientated religion because we have a very naturally beautiful island uh, and we were so connected into nature and the land uh, as an agricultural society by and large. So it was. it's natural that Irish people still confronted by the obvious 
transcendence of the world. People are now looking again to nature forms of religion in all its forms. I think, unfortunately, Hollywood hasn't done us any favours here. It's for the Catholic tradition, it's like exorcism. Hollywood hasn't done us any favours uh, about what people think exorcism is or what people think witches are and are, are about and do, you know, with the broomstick and the hat and the spells and all of that. Uh, if you spoke to anyone who describes themselves as a witch in, the, in the, the purest sense of that word, no more than a lot of other things, it would be peculiar and interesting, you know. But would I be negative in my reaction to it? No, I would, I would be curious and interested as somebody who is a person of faith. Uh, definitely, there's um, stigma. I think that that comes from a few different um, sectors. You know, in Ireland, uh, this is predominantly from Christian traditions and the concept of heresy. We know that people historically were burned uh, as, as witches, as heretics. So there's that kind of um, residual impact, I suppose. Many of the people that I have spoken to, many modern day witches, they, they would practice magic and much of what they do has to do with healing. It's not something uh, to do with the devil or demons um, or something bad. The idea that women, that it's women who, who are witches, uh, comes from the persecution of, of women during the witch trials. And, you know, that, that was influenced just by traditional societies where, where women have many sacred associations to do with the other world. Like a lot of people say, say they can't believe in fairies, but yet they can believe a 14-year-old girl became pregnant with the Son of God and an angel told her that she was having the Son of God. You know, it's just, you have to choose your, what you're going to believe in. Why do, why do you need that when you've got a perfectly good earth?